I tell people like me. My question is, um, I understand conceptually what you're saying, mm-hmm. you know, um, that this body is an empty vessel. Mm-hmm. Um, but in in day-to-day life, there's again like a sense of self that comes in. Mm-hmm. And my understanding of awakening is that sense of self, the sense itself needs to drop. Mm-hmm. Right? And and I don't know how to drop it. Um, you know, mm-hmm. in general, day-to-day life, I want to experience that there's no one doing it. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know if I want to do that, but is that the right understanding of awakening? Okay. Um, and how to get there? I understand. I understand what you're saying. And I understand the conundrum and the issue that you that you're facing. Okay. Um, let's. There are two things. This is probably premature for you, but I'll put it out there. You're referring to an I. What is this I that you're referring to? So it's it's like a sense that there is someone. Okay. Okay. Very good. So let's look at this. What is a sense of something? I had a sense that it was going to rain today, but it didn't rain. Well, are, are you from India? Yes. Or, yes. Okay. Well, okay. I mean, I live in the U.S., but um, I'm from. Yeah, culture. The, I want to share an example with you. I don't know if this is politically correct or not, but the image that came up was, um, you know, the, the rope being the snake. Mm-hmm. You know, um, it it seems like a snake, it acts like a state snake, but it's not a snake. Mm -hmm. Have you, I don't know about you, but when I was a child, when I would go to sleep at night, I was afraid of the dark because I sensed, I felt like there were monsters there. Yeah. And that's what I, I compare the sense of self to, honestly. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so that is really the sense of something is not necessarily the truth of something. Yeah. Okay. And right now, would you say that for the most part you trust and believe the thinking that arises there as being your thoughts, your thinking? So when I actually observe the thought, it doesn't seem like it's my thought. It just seems like an object, as you're saying. Good. And yeah, but there's still a sense um, if if I don't try to observe the thought. E- e- there's a sense in the chest. And when I try to look closer into the chest, again, it's just sensations, right, yes. of the body. Yes. So there, I cannot locate it. I've tried enough. Uh, I cannot locate it. Um, yeah, and, and I have had a couple of experiences um, so what Advaita Gurus talk about, you know, I have a sense of clarity of the visual field and the sound and, you know, I'm, I think I have a little bit of clarity and I did have an experience once that I am this visual field. Uh, but I think I, there might still be like a sense of I remaining. Yes. Yes. Which is strong. Yeah. Um, yes. 
So what I was going to say is that, um, yes, you, um, you're having glimpses or senses experiencing of um, true nature, but there's a filter of belief in an eye that's trying to understand or interpret what's happening. And all thinking is just imagination. Can, can a thought feel? No. Is a thought aware? So a thought is a mental image or a mental sound. Okay. Right? So it's aware by itself. Is I mean it? is it? It's known, right? It's known. Yes, but by what is it known? It is a thing that is noticed by yeah. something else. Yeah. It is an object, a subtle object, let's say. So are you saying, uh, yeah. So are you referring to like a central consciousness, which yeah. is aware? Yeah. There is no, uh, there's no cent center. There's yeah. just, here, if you close your eyes, close your eyes. Are you aware? Yeah. Are you alive? Yeah. Can you find a boundary, a limit, or a border to that awareness? No. I mean, it's not in space, right? It's just awareness. Any sense of okay, space? Okay, so, like... so stay with me. You're thinking. Thinking is arising again. Mm -hmm. Stay with experiencing that there's a, there's awareness. You can find a border. The sense of aliveness. You can't find a border to that. If there's no border or edge, can you find a center? No, no. Okay. As I'm asking you these questions, would you say that it's attention that is looking for the answers? There is an urge, like it's, it's a sensation for answers. Um, what is your finding tool? What do you look for something with? Attention. Attention, yes. Yep. All right, so close your eyes again, close your eyes again. So as I'm speaking to you, I'm asking you if you're aware. Attention looks. It says yes. Yeah. Are you alive? Yes. Attention looks and you say yes. Yes. Can you find a limit to this awareness? Attention looks and finds no limit. Yes. Can you find a center? Attention looks and finds no center. Do you notice that everything that I'm asking you, you, the supposed you that you think you are, attention is looking. Would you also say, it's fair to say that attention is focused awareness? Yeah. Okay, well, that's what I'm speaking to, and that's what's answering. 
And on top of that is the story of Adi and the arising of thoughts that are identified as my thoughts, my feelings, my understanding. Can a thought understand anything? No. No. It's impossible. This awareness, this sense of aliveness, this sense of being that is being experienced now, that is true nature. What you've been looking for is what you are looking with. You're using a looking tool to find what already is. Can Addy find itself sitting in the chair? No. no. Addy's already in the chair. So imaginary Addy is looking for true nature and what it's supposed to experience. And it's already it. Come back, come back, open your eyes. Yeah. So, that is true nature. So you've recognized true nature. But what's important that we haven't done, and it is very important, in order to be in life, so to speak. There's no one in life. Life is just apparently happening. It must be recognized what you are not. In other words, you are, we're all one thought away from believing I'm a Glenda, I'm an Addy. And it happens very subtly. It just come. It's just it arise yeah. like that and be identified with. So, um, uh, I would suggest that you um, have an awakening session. Actually, there's a there's a great opportunity coming up. Fred is having um, a realization today. So on one day, small group um, awakening session, I th think it's on June 8th. I, I'm not sure. It's very soon. Or myself and Bo do one-on-one -on -one awakening sessions. But it's very important to be able to, in the day-to-day -day living of life, as the um, misidentification, as the sense of Addy, and yeah. addiness arises to recognize it and not believe it. And yeah. that comes rep at first you must see it very clearly what you're not. And then repetition is the mother of clarity. Got it. But can you cool. see, can you see, oh, this is very important. One you started out saying, and by the way, every quote unquote, supposed seeker in the world says, I understand this intellectually, but it's not my experience. Can you see that the opposite is true? Yes. Um, yes, I can see that. Uh, I think the problem is, as you were saying, I, maybe I need repetition. Um, Absolutely. But it doesn't but stay, it just rises. It, the, sense. It, the, the sense of addiness, the, the, it's, it's patterns, it's conditioned patterns. However old you are, that's how many years there's been identification with that thinking 
as that's me. Yeah. And the body too. You know, the this this the false identification needs to be recognized on a, a profound level. And then yes, realization, as you point out now, it's so fleeting because it's only now. It, it can only be now. As soon as a thought arises and it's believed or identified with, that's recognition through nature is not now. And as soon as the thought arises and it's, oh, there's that adamant nonsense again. Thanks for sharing. Bye. <laughs> You know, until it could be like, it's just, it's a joke. You know, I watched the the craziness and the stupidity of glendonous patterns all the time. And I'm quite amused and, and, and amazed by them. But that is happening by recognizing that there's only noticing and I, so to speak, am that noticing what's apparently happening.